Time for a check on our weather. That red alert coming our way. Vanessa Murdoch is here with the first alert forecast. And you say some, some of our viewers could see some snow tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. As the system exits, a little bit of snow. For some, it will be mixing with rain, but minor accumulations for many who haven't seen accumulating snow yet this season. But I don't think tomorrow is the day that in the city we break our snowless stretch. I think that's Wednesday. As we look live outside right now, it is awfully soggy. We have rain and mist, 38 degrees. Winds are out of the north, northeast at 8. They'll be ramping up overnight and especially for the day tomorrow. Expect a soggy night to persist with rain and snow mixing tomorrow for many of us. And then another red alert on Wednesday. That system is different in the sense that we're going to reverse things. We're going to start off with snow Wednesday and it will transition to rain. With this system right now, it is rain that will transition transition to snow for some. As we look at the other impacts of the storm system strengthening off our coast, we do have some coastal flood advisories in effect along our shorelines. Tomorrow from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m., about a half a foot of inundation is possible. Total rainfall so far with the system has been impressive, about a third of an inch in the city, pushing toward that half inch mark west of the city in Islip as well, about a third of an inch in Toms River too. As we look at the timeline now through 5 a.m., expect it to be moderate to heavy rainfall with snow for Sullivan and Ulster County and a little bit of a wintry mix wedged in between. From 5 a.m. until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, the rain is lighter, but it's still wet out there. And we'll start to see that transition to snow for some of us. And then through the day tomorrow, as the winds continue to pick up, those minor accumulations will be uh, stacking up on the ground. Here's the storm system responsible for all the wet weather and the wind. It will make its way off the coast and strengthen to our northeast. And then then as we look toward Wednesday's mess, well, it is still getting its act together up over the four corners. Let's check out the system hour by hour through the overnight. It's heavy rain at times. 5 a.m. Notice a bit of a lull, but it's still misty and drizzly. And then the light rain builds back in as the cold air begins to pile in. 8 a.m. We see that transition to snow for some, especially it looks like north of the city, more of a mix close to the city and for the island. And 3 o'clock, we're still seeing a little bit of wet weather, mainly east. By 7 o'clock, activities winding down, skies are clearing, and those snowfall accumulations, as mentioned, won't be overly impressive. Tuesday, a much drier day. Rainfall, well, we're going to pick up about another half an inch overnight. And here we are at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning as the system exits. Look at these accumulations that are possible, maybe a half an inch as we look north of the city to as much as three more inches in places like Monticello. The rest of us, no accumulating snow. As we look at your extended forecast, that red alert through tomorrow, 43 is your high that happens. Early temperatures tumble. 44 and dry, but breezy Tuesday. Wednesday, again, snow to start, transitioning relatively swiftly to rain. 37, and then we'll take down the red alert and we'll dry things out to wrap up the work week. I know it looks messy, but all those kitties out there who have been dying for some snow, at least they'll get to see it. Yes. <laughs> it's probably going to be too ugly to let them go play in it, right? Yeah, it's not going to be so pleasant yeah. to play in tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be awfully soggy, but maybe Wednesday if you, you know, get them out there at lunchtime. I mean, they only need like one or two inches to feel happy. <laughs> Right? It's just not looking promising for that just yet. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Vanessa. Okay.